Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Overlanding Newbie. So this is episode 11.1. Um, I'll explain the dot one part of that in just a second. So as you see, I'm uh, here recording from my office, uh, not out in the man cave. The dingo trailer's basically done. I'm getting ready to, uh, to take it out on its first trip here shortly. What I do, I'll take a bunch of video because there's a little bit of um, last minute things that we added to it and just some cool stuff that uh, that I found along the way that other new overlanders might be interested in. So uh, as we continue the overlanding newbie theme, what I thought I would do was share a little bit about my, uh, my trip planning and navigation tool um, that I'll be using while out in the field. So um, there's a handful of different products out there. I've ended up selecting the Gaia Navigation um, platform. So um, what I thought I would do was just kind of unpack some of the things that I've learned along the way. There's some great resources, great videos out there, but I found that um, I kind of was piecing together information. So I hope that um, through, uh, through my videos here, I'll be able to kind of put that all together in one place and make it really easy for you. What I did notice though was as I was preparing some notes for this, it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. There's a lot to unpack with uh, using the Gaia app or any navigation app and um, you know all the way from kind of understanding how it works to doing some initial research in the areas that you're going to be exploring and then actually planning a trip and using the trip. So real quick what I decided to do was break this down into six additional videos. So there'll be 11.2 all the way through 11.7. So let me really quickly show you or tell you what I'm gonna be uh, chatting about in each of those videos. If you wanna jump ahead, absolutely go for it. If you want to just come along the ride through through all of these, um, please please do and I hope, uh, I hope it's informative for you. So um, the, the next video is gonna be about why I chose Gaia and some of their membership pieces. The uh, 11.3 is gonna be all about setting up your settings, navigating the site, um, understanding some of the terms used within the site, kind of a glossary and organization within the site. The, um, the next one, 11.4, is going to be all about the maps and which layers um, I prefer to kind of use. There's a ton of them. So I've narrowed it down to a handful um, that I'm using in, in some of my, uh, my research and preparation. 11.5 is going to be all about my process. So kind of, I've kind of got a, a process in which I do some research in an area that um, I'm new to and laying out potential routes within it. Uh, and then 11.6 is actually going to be planning out an actual trip. So I'll show you a trip that I'm planning out. We'll lay it all out within the site. And then the last one, 11.7, is going to be actually using it in the field. So I want to do some screen recordings from my iPhone showing you how to utilize it in the uh, in the field, how you can use some pretty cool functionality within it when you're out offline in the field and then um, accessing that information after you're back. So again, a ton to unpack here. Thank you very much for, for sitting down for a little bit. Um, definitely grab your favorite cold beverage. And, uh, and come along for the ride and we will uh, we'll dive into everything about um, everything about navigation, route planning and, uh, and everything there. So speaking of um, cold beverages, I really quickly just wanted to do a shout out to Athletic Brewing Company. Um, not a sponsor. would love to be a sponsor, but not a sponsor. Um, I am a, a sober individual and uh, Athletic Brewing Company is a non-alcoholic beer. I had a major passion for craft beer for well over a decade. And um, when I quit drinking, um, I, I felt like I was kind of missing something in my life. And I got to kind of get closer to craft beer again through Athletic Brewing Company. So I just want to do a real shout out to those guys. They also have a great nonprofit, which is Two for the Trails. And so they, uh, they kick back uh, a couple bucks off of every purchase to Two for the Trails, which is a great nonprofit organization that rebuilds local trails within communities. So um, really, really uh, want to just to support these guys and, and just say thank you for, for everything they're doing to support craft brewing for the non-alcoholic uh, non drinker. So whether or not you're a sober person like me or just want to stay sharp while out on the trail and camping, I just want to just say Athletic Brewing Company is a, is a great beer to check out. So thanks everybody, thanks for coming along for the ride. Let's jump into the series right now. 